Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm first up for UK Scrap Addicts. This month's theme, we are concentrating on paper folding techniques um, in scrapbooking. So I thought I would do one of my favourite things and that is to make these paper folded sort of 3D stars. Um, now I have shown this before on my channel um, but I just love it and I've got so many layouts now with these 3D stars on that I thought I would do it again. So I've already gone ahead and um, die cut out some different size stars and I've decided that I want my photo to also be um, a star shape so I'm just going to go ahead and die cut that out too. Just using my um, big shot there. And this photograph here was taken um, at Blenheim Palace. We went to go and see the illuminated trail they do earlier on in December and um, I just thought that the photo worked really well with the stars. Now I've chosen to use Cocoa Vanilla uh, collections. I, I think I've got a mixture of unforgettable and happiness um, in this. So I'm just going to zoom in and this is how you make these 3D stars. So you line up the top point and that bottom point to the same score line and score down and you need to do that on all five points just working my way around and the last one and I do find it helps if you've marked your board where the line is so I, you can't see it very well here um, but I've got a black, I've used, just used a Sharpie to mark the three inch I think I've done. Um, so I can see very easily where the top and the bottom um, are. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can use your trimmer. So again, just line that top and the bottom point up in that trimmer, uh, the track. And then you can score down that way as well. So this is where the fun starts. So what we need to do is just fold those stars in half, uh, the points in half. So where you've got each of the points coming out, you just want to fold that bit upwards in half. And then what you want to do is you want to fold two together. So I'm just slow this down a little bit. So if you just fold two together um, and then you're going to want to um, score those to get a... Uh, not score them, you want to burnish them to get a, 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 a proper crease line. So I'm just pulling these in together um, and it helps with um, forming the shape of the star. And just like that. And you'll see it helps with the, the middle point of the star. And then just going to come in and score all of those down I must admit I'm so excited about the theme this month um, because it's one of those things that I love trying different techniques in scrapbooking um, and paper folding I've caught the bug with making these stars um, so I can't wait to um, see what the other ladies create <clears throat> and what I can learn off of them this month so I'm going to add in some Heidi Swap Colour Shine and I'm using Sweet Mint and I'm using rose I think um, it's the colours that matched the papers close enough um, in uh, in my stash and just move that photo out of the way <clears throat> I have got a habit of splashing ink all over my photo so I will learn my lesson to move it out of the way now if you are watching this on uh, the UK Scrap Addicts channel hi Hope you are enjoying um, all of the inspiration that the team bring you. Um, if you are watching this on my channel, Scrappy Nerd UK, please be sure to head on over to UK Scrap Addicts channel. I've linked it below um, to go and take a look at what all the other ladies um, create during the month. Um, we have a lot of fun um, with our different theme every month. So I wanted a... Um, I wanted a sort of a greyish black colour um, so all I did is just used a, um, a black Posca paint pen added some water to it to dilute it and it's given me this uh, lighter black stroke grey colour that I wanted and I'm just using a paintbrush to 
um, add some splatters. That's probably one of my really good um, tips for you. Um, use a really small paintbrush. It gives you better splatters. Um, so if you're not very good at splattering, um, even the Heidi Swap the, or any of the ink sprays, the Dilutions ink sprays, the Mr. Hueys, whatever you've got, um, then a paintbrush works really well. So dip your paintbrush in instead. Now this is how we um, adhere the stars onto the um, onto your uh, cardstock or background, whatever you're using. I've used two little foam dots in the middle to give the middle some height and then flat adhesive on all of the five corners. Now, if you want the stars to be much higher um, with a lot, of, lot more dimension, then add more foam into the middle. Now, I don't want mine to be too bulky um, because I know that I struggle with my album as it is, having too much uh, uh, dimension in there on the layouts, too many um, wood veneers and flare and all sorts. So I'm just going with two foam dots um, on this and that works for me. So again, I'm just going to show you the process one more time. Two foam dots in the middle, and then you want some flat adhesive on the outside. So you can use wet glue for this, um, or you could use um, tape runner as long as it's a, a strong-ish one. Um, one of the roller tape things. Um, or just some double-sided tape like I'm using here. And they're just popping that one down. Now, because of the pattern on this one, you can't see it very well in the video. Um, with the, the 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 dimension, the 3D-ness, but it is there in real life. So now I'm on to embellishing. Oh, I did actually pop my photo up onto some foam dots as well, just to create a bit of a shadow behind the photo, because I didn't really want to back it with any more pattern paper. So the fun bit, the embellishing. So I've just used one of these tassels, and I'm going to use this little green bow as well. Uh, it doesn't make it into either of those positions, but... Um, I'm also going to use up a couple of flare. I go all out on this one and add two flare on. I like to, um, you only get six in the pack of this, so I like to um, only put one on a layout, but I really felt it needed a second one. So I go with uh, that camera and I go with um, <clears throat> this other one that's got a sentiment on. And... Just digging through what else I've got. Okay, so I decide to go for a a long title on this. I did consider using the um, the send word sentiments that came um, with this collection, but decided against it in the end. So I just grabbed these tiny little um, gold glitter thickers from my stash. I use an absolute ton of them, but that's absolutely fine. Um, and I use a quote, I believe, from Lord of the Rings, um, which is Moonlight Drowns Out All But the Brightest Stars. And I thought it worked really well with the theme of this layout and the photo. So I went with that. And next, this is old school. These are Brad's. Um, and I've been using these in my December daily. So I thought I would um, make the most of them being out and actually... Uh, get a few more used on here as well so I'm going to use one to um, pop through that little ring of the tassel um, to add that on and having to use my pokey tool there to um, to get it through the paper and then on the back I am just going to I just open up the split pin on the back Apologies if you just had the dog then. And I'm just going to add a bit of tape onto the back because when this goes into the page protector, the layout that is on the back of it, I don't want that Brad getting caught um, on that layout. So just adding a bit of tape to protect it. And then I'm going to add three of these stars in total. Now when I've looked back at this layout a couple of days later, I thought it might have needed a couple more. So I might go and add two more on keeping with the um, odd numbers. Um, so, yeah. And that's okay if you make a layout and you want to go back and add something else on or adjust it later. That's totally fine. So, yeah, I just for me, I just feel like I need another two um, on here somewhere. So, although these um, flare have got foam pads on the back, I always add a little bit of extra um, wet adhesive <clears throat> because I've had it before where they've fallen off. Um, so, a little bit of wet glue to help. 
and that is where the bow and the um, flare is going to make it and I'm just showing you I nearly knocked I remember I nearly knocked my Prosecco over whilst I was fi filming this so <clears throat> that would have been disastrous I'm just using um, a fine line stamping up pen to write Blenheim Palace and then I'm going to date stamp uh, using, I think it's a Project Life one, um, using a date stamper. So I want to add in some little tiny word stickers. Um, I decided against journaling in the end because although this photo is on this layout because I love the photo, um, the photo is also in my uh, December daily. So um, it's going to make two appearances and I'll journal about it there so I'm not too precious about not having it um, journaled about actually on this layout <clears throat> and let me know do you do you ever scrapbook the photo a photo more than once um, I know I've done it accidentally before um, and I've done it where I've had um, design team stuff where I just use a generic same photo um, to add on to make a layout but um, I'm specifically scrapping this photo because it will work with the theme of what I'm doing. Um, but I know it's in another album. <clears throat> Let me know your thoughts on that. Do you scrap the same photo because you add it into different albums for different children? I'd be interested. Um, <clears throat> so, last up, I think, is I felt it needed a little bit more sparkle. So I'm just adding some of the gold um, Heidi Swap Colour Shine and I am done. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're going to give this a go. If you do, be sure to tag us all on um, Instagram, either at Scrappy Nerd UK or UK Scrap Addicts and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below and see you next time. Bye.